Welcome to episode 4 of the Beginner Guide to One Piece, where I will be explaining the ranking system used in the Navy or the Marines of One Piece. You start off as a chore boy, the lowest rank in the Navy, where you pretty much do what the name entitles. You do chores and help around the Navy bases. The next rank has three classes, Seaman Recruit, Seaman Apprentice, and three Seaman First Class. Most of the Marines or people in the Navy with this rank are normally background characters that's only purpose is to be one-shotted by members of the crew and the main character to show off how powerful they are or just to hype up the getting you hyped up for the battle that is to come. The next rank has two classes. Chief Petty Officer and Master Chief Petty Officer. A Master Chief Petty Officer normally serves under the Lieutenant and Warrant Officers. They're really not that important, there are, and there are many of them. When you are a Master Chief Petty Officer, you would normally be stationed in like the East Blue, the North Blue, somewhere with pirates of very low threat level and very low bounties. The Warrant Officer is the next rank you must achieve while go, when going to the rank. The Warrant Officer is, is like the middle rank. It is of a rank you have when you don't have too much power or influence, but you have enough that you could probably get a meeting with a higher ranking officer to, to some extent. The next rank is Lieutenant. Lieutenant is a very basic rank. It is somebody that is handpicked normally by the captain that had the quality to help them out, and they're pretty much like an assistant to the captain. The next rank is captain. The captain's main job is to go around and arrest pirates. The job of the captain is to just command a crew and go around and catch their pirates. That is a very simple job, isn't it? Well, not if you're smoker. But the next rank is when things get interesting. The next rank is vice admiral. The only people directly under the Admiral. There are many, many Vice Admirals. And Oda has stated before that every single Vice Admiral is capable of using at least one of the two forms of hockey. Now, the Vice Admirals are all very powerful in their own right and are all very dangerous. And are free to do mostly whatever they want, but are sometimes given very special missions by the Admiral themselves. The next rank is Admiral. An Admiral is one of the most powerful people in the Navy. Sometimes even considered to be one of the Navy's strongest members, if not their strongest. An Admiral is feared by most pirates and known by name, by a code name. Akainu, for example, the real name is Tadazuki. Aokiji is Kuzan, and Fujitora is Isho, I believe. So they all have code names, and they are all given a code name that means something. Akainu means red dog. They are all incredibly powerful, but however, they have a lot less freedom due to the amount of responsibility and work that comes with this position. The next rank is Fleet Admiral. The Fleet Admiral is the guy who called the shot. The Fleet Admiral decides what the Navy is going to do, where their base is located, who goes where, and really has a tremendous amount of power. The Fleet Admiral is also the one to, to handle communication between the Marines and the Gorosei, or the Five Elder Stars. Something that, you, that I would like to point out, is that the Fleet Admiral is the most powerful man in the Navy. Debatably. It, it's debatable, but it is widely, but Fleet Admiral is widely considered the most powerful and respected Marine in the Navy. I hope you guys enjoyed episode 4 of the Beginner Guide to One Piece. And please, tell me your suggested topics for the next episode in the comments section down below. What should I explain in the next episode? And what should I cover in the next episode? But I hope you enjoyed. Please like, comment, and subscribe for more videos. This is One Piece Nation signing out. Have a great day, guys.